So let's begin with our centering, standing with our feet about shoulders width apart and opening the bottoms of our feet to receive the earth. Let's inhale up and lengthen the spine out the top of the head. Exhale down, soften the shoulders, breathing into the earth. And then a sense of our personal space, back and front, left and right, above and below. Gravity softening our shoulders and inviting our quality. What would it be like if there was a little more of our quality? Let's take a little bit wider stance and then dip down, take a breath from the earth, bringing it up. Long exhale, opening. And expanding. Reaching through the walls. And now let's wake up our core. A little patting of the core. Say good morning or afternoon to it. All right, in the middle of all that sensation, focusing a point, we'll work with our gathering breath, our containing breath. Inhale, hold, don't let it out, pull down, slow release. Inhale, hold, gather into your core, sense the strength. Slow release. Collecting into our core, sense the power. And slow release. Good. Dropping down into the hips a little bit more, let's begin turning from our core. The sense of moving from a point deep inside the abdomen. A small movement there radiates out through the arms and fingertips. You can imagine it's light. What color is the light that you're shining on the floor or the walls? Be sure to keep your head facing forward, moving from a point deep inside. And bringing that movement to a close, take a moment to sense the aliveness. Next, we'll charge our hands up with energy, making the connection hands and core, not too high, but low by your hips. And when tension creeps up into the shoulders, exhale, dropping under it. Make the connection hands and hips. And then sensing the aliveness in the hands. And use that to connect your core, your heart and your core, softening and settling yourselves down. And now let's put the left foot forward. Keep a, a close stance, not too wide, so you don't compromise your knees. Hand on either side of the core. And slowly begin shifting. Bring your attention to the bottoms of your feet and feel how the weight transfers from one foot into the other. If you notice you're observing yourself, you can use the exhale to drop below the observer into sensation, one foot and the other. And then the legs. Each leg fills and empties, tracking pressure, one leg and the other. And then the pressure of the hands against the belly and the low back, feel the hands. And in the space between the hands, focus a point and a long exhale into that point. Steady your mind in the center of your abdomen. And then we'll change feet and hands. 
Comfortable stance again, continue shifting, bringing your attention back down to the bottoms of your feet. Feel how the weight pours from one foot into the other. Using the exhale to drop into sensation. And then the legs. Muscles, ligaments, and tendons are activating and releasing. Just one leg, just the other. Now the pressure of the hands against the belly and the low back. Feel the hands. And in the space between them, focus a point. And a long exhale into that point. Rest your mind in the center of your abdomen. Changing feet again, left foot forward. We're going to work with our intention, our declaration. So bring your intention to mind and clarify it to yourself by saying it clearly. Now we're going to shape it. So shift into that wedge shape from the side. You can see the front knee bends, the hands go up to make a nice wedge, a nice triangle. The sides are smooth. The back is open like a colander and the sharp leading edge extending out. And now invite. Invite teachers, mentors, and archetypes. So first you clarify your intention, then you shape it, and then you invite. And then we'll start the movement of the exercise, feet and hands together, and one back. Together and back. Arms and legs working in harmony. Again, Clarify your intention with all this activity. Say it clearly to yourself. Shape it. Sharp leading edge extending way out through the walls. The sides are smooth. And the back is open, porous, receiving life force and energy from teachers, mentors, and archetypes. Invite yourself to be a little more noble a little more awesome, a little shinier. Sense yourself as a conduit. Let it come through you. Good, and hold. Let's do our four-part centering again. Comfortable stance. Inhale up, lengthening the spine up toward the sky. Long exhale down, softening the chest and the jaw into the earth. The sense of your personal space around you and your quality. What would it be like if there was just a little more of your quality? And we'll start the two-step. Don't forget with the two-step, you want to line up to each wall. We'll go front and back, but be sure you're lined up and you're going to step turn and line up to the far wall. So don't overturn, but keep yourself nice and clearly aligned. So we'll all do it together, left foot forward. Good posture, ready and one. Two, one, two. Every time you turn, be sure you're lined up and aligned to a point on the far wall. Start with your personal space. How much depth, width, and height do you need to make room for yourself? Gravity softening your jaw and shoulders as you turn. And your quality. What's it like? You invited a little more. Now expand your personal space to open attention. Including others. Including the room. How much depth width and height do you need now to make room for others, to make room for a bigger space 
inside your territory. Open attention. Now for a moment, concentrate on the space and see if you can sense how the space can move you. If you're working with a group, the space moves the group together, synchronizes the group. See if you can let yourself be moved by the space effortlessly, keeping the precision of your posture, gravity, and your quality. Good, turn and stay. Nice balanced stance, soft shoulders. Make a little more room for that life force, that key, that chi to be present in your body. Okay, very good.